Hello everyone and welcome to another week in the life of a pet portrait and wildlife artist. So if you watched the previous video, the previous vlog that I did, I'm starting exactly where I left off on that one. So I've still got my wet hair, just had a shower and yeah, today I got up earlier than usual. So proud of myself for that. Got up at six o'clock, went for a run, which is like, not like me. Um, I'm trying to get into the routine of getting up a lot earlier. I feel like I'm not very good at getting up. Once I'm up, I am a morning person and I am more productive in the mornings. It's just getting past that initial like, ugh, getting out of bed. I'm one of them people that I'll snooze my alarm like three times before I even get up. And then you end up being way more tired than if you just got up straight away. So that's my resolution at the minute. I'm trying to get better at waking up because if I had that extra hour or two in the morning to get stuff done, I think I'd just feel a lot less panicked by how much I need to do. So yes, that is my current goal. Um, but today I've got quite a lot of stuff to do. I need to pack some Etsy orders this morning. I'm now an Etsy star seller for the month of May, so that's really good. I didn't even know that like you could get that if you'd not got that many sales. So I think it's if you get your orders out on a good, like this, I can't speak. I think it's if you dispatch your orders really quickly, get good reviews, um and answer messages quickly i think putting those little cards in the orders that just says if you liked your order please leave a good review is helping a lot so i definitely recommend to do that if you've got an etsy shop but yes i also need to pack some commissions that are going to japan i'll show you those in a second and um, i've got some patreon filming to do i've finished the koala now and i'm on to a cow so i will show you those after um, and I want to do some editing, go to the post office, do some commissions. So yeah, I'm going to get on with it. I'm going to start on the Etsy orders now. So I'll show you a little bit of that and then move on to whatever I do next. Got Charlie with me underneath my desk, keeping me company today. It's a grim day today. It was so nice yesterday and now it's like this. Typical British weather, but I don't mind when I'm inside. I quite like the sound of the rain, it's relaxing. And I'm glad I went for a run this morning and not now. <laughs> So yeah, this is the little slip that I've been using that's been helping me to get more good reviews. So definitely recommend that you do something like that if you have an Etsy shop. Oh, I did my nails the other day and I did these little flowers. I like them. But yeah, <laughs> um, really, really good. I need to do some nice proper leaflets, but for now, these are doing the job. I want to do some that um, mention my commissions and that you can get your own pet drone. I feel I feel like I'm missing a trick by not doing that, so I'm gonna do that very soon. I just need to take a good picture of me wearing something nice that looks professional <laughs> and I've just not got round to it yet, so. Right, I've finished packing my orders and now I'm gonna pack the commissions that are going to Japan. I'll show you what they look like. So these are the two commissions. So this is Stella and this one is Luce. Both little Yorkshire Terriers and going to Japan. So I'm a bit I'm a bit nervous. I've never sent anything to Japan before, so I just hope that they get there in one piece and <laughs> don't get lost or anything. But yeah, the worst thing that could happen is you have to do it again, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm really happy with how these turned out and I'm going to get them mounted and packed up now. So I'm just adding a little bit more, like, a little bit more detail in places. Sometimes when you go to like pack a portrait up after not seeing it for a few days, you see more things that you didn't see before. So I'm just sort of refining it a little bit before I send it, making sure that it's perfect. Right, there we go. I think I'm happy with that now. I just wanted to perfect it a little bit. So now I'm gonna mount them and I'll show you what they look like.
we go, the portraits are all mounted now, I just need to put some wrap around them and package them in the boxes, so I'll get on with that now. Ignore my natural crazy hair, but um, I've just finished packaging up the commissions and now I need to do some filming for Patreon. So I've got my camera set up, I'll show you what we're working on this month and I'll show you the finished koala tutorial from last month. Still catching up on myself and finishing the last um, texture that we drew for the fundamentals because I chose the most complicated three um, references ever and it took me way longer than I expected. So still catching up on that but I'll show you where we're up to at the moment. Okay, so this is the finished koala drawing. Really happy with how it turned out. There were a lot of fur involved in this tutorial, so if you want to learn how to draw this kind of fur, maybe it'll be helpful. I think my favourite is the baby. I just love, I love how that looks. And it'll make a really nice card, I think, for like Mother's Day, um, stuff like that. So I'm gonna get some cards made eventually. But yeah, that is the April tutorial over on Patreon. So I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in drawing this with me. But yeah, I'll we'll zoom in. Happy with how that turned out. And this is the textures tutorial that I'm doing for fundamentals that I haven't quite finished yet, but planning on getting more of this done today as well, this frog skin. But yeah, I've had to make a bit of a change to the fundamental tier because I am struggling to keep up with it. And I don't want to let oh, the video just cut off because my phone storage was full. But yeah, I don't want to let anyone down. So I don't want to be unrealistic with what I can offer. And I think one of these a month would be more than enough, especially if you're just starting out. It's a bit overwhelming. And I found a lot of my patrons are struggling to keep up anyway. So yeah, I think that'll be better for me. Um, so yeah, that is what we did for fundamentals. It's an otter, a duck and frog. So all kind of like pond animals. So yes, I wanted to do wet fur and I think it looks, looks good. So yes, that is that. And then this is what we're drawing this month, which is a cow. And I love how that's looking so far. So I'm hoping to get a lot more done on that today. Um, so I'm gonna get on with it. Right, I'm hopefully gonna get two parts of this filmed now. So I will catch you up when I am done. There we go. I've just finished filming the next part of the cow tutorial. I think it's looking good and I'm really hungry now. My stomach was rumbling all the way through that filming. So I'm gonna go and get some lunch and then this afternoon I'm gonna go to the post office and then do a fundamentals video for Patreon. So yeah, busy day. Look at the baby moorhen. Oh, blackbird in the way. So cute. They have such big feet. Just done the next part of this tutorial of the frog skin. So I'm happy with that so far and I think I am done with filming tutorials for the day. Now I am going to edit the previous vlog. Uh, so vlog, vlog inception. Um, and I am gonna do some commissions and I am gonna do some commission work after that. It's now quarter to three, so I've still got quite a bit of time left today. Hair's dried now, still looks a bit crazy, but yes, that is what I'm going to do now. Just editing my vlog and I've got Charlie loving this teddy. He absolutely loves it. Gorgeous day. It's nothing better than a blue sky. Hello, it's Tuesday and it was really sunny this morning so I put a dress on and now it's not even that warm anymore. But anyway, still got my dress on and I'm cold but I can't bother getting changed. And I've been editing videos this morning. I didn't really film it because it's just boring. I feel like, I feel 
like it's just boring if I show you that I'm editing all the time. So I did that and put my vlog up for this week and I am going to have some lunch and then I think I'm going to make a start on the B tutorial for Patreon. It's the fundamentals tutorial. Doing things a little bit differently this month and instead of focusing on like an eye or a nose or a feature like that I'm going to do a B. I think it'll be fun. Everyone loves bees, don't they? So I think that'll be a good one to do. So yes, going to get on with that in a bit after eating some food. Just nip into the post box. It's really nice and warm outside now. I take it back. It's lovely. It just makes me want to go for a nice walk or something and just stay outside. But got stuff to do. Won't be doing that. Maybe later. Just come to the post box and admiring the countryside. I'm just about to make a start on this B tutorial for the fundamentals tier. I think everyone's looking forward to this one because bees are just so popular and they're so gorgeous. I mean, who wouldn't want to draw a bee? So, yeah, if anyone's wondering, this app that I use when I'm doing my drawings is called Arty. I'll link it down below. A R T Y. And you can set it to like polychromos, prismacolor, luminance. And if you hover over like a certain part of the picture, it tells you the closest colour match to it. It's not always accurate, like, let's see. Sometimes it just does a completely random light red violet. I don't even know what that is. But you can see the little swatch there and kind of guess it yourself. Like I probably use a bit of cold grey 3 and cold grey 5 there maybe. But if you're struggling with your colour matching, it's a good little tool to use and even if you're not using any of these coloured pencil brands you can just go off this like do a lot of swatches on a piece of paper choose the closest colour and just go from there so yeah find that really handy it's really satisfying just like dragging it around but anyway gonna get started with this so this is the before there we go that's the first part of the beat tutorial filmed Completely forgot to update the vlog. I ended up dropping my dad at the garage and then just forgot to film this. So here I am filming it. I love it so far. I love how vibrant it is. Just snacking on some candy kittens while I do some drawing. Look at the sunset. Hello, it's Wednesday and I'm just out in the garden soaking up some sun rays with my laptop just doing a little bit of work. Um, I did some commissions this morning, the gifts so I can't really share it but um, I also edited my B video so now just doing the bits that I need to do on my laptop outside because why not train the sun. Uh, yeah, it's lovely, lovely day, gotta make the most of it haven't you? Charlie, what can I do for you? <laughs> oh, look at the beans. Right, I'm giving you a sneak peek of what I'm working on for my commission. This is a wildlife piece, so it's not a pet, it's not a dog, it's not a cat, and this is all I'm going to show you, so comment below what you think this is, and then once it's been gifted, I'll reveal the finished piece, see if you got it right. I've not really filmed that much today, because I've been doing just like commissions pretty much all day, and a bit of stuff on my laptop, a bit of editing and whatnot. But um, tonight I'm going for a really nice walk with the family. We do like a family walk every now and then. And it's one of my favourites. It's Horton Bottoms in Blackburn. Well, I think it's it starts in Blackburn, but then it goes through Chorley. I don't know. Horton Bottoms anyway, if you're from that sort of area. It's a really nice walk. You see some lovely houses and a nice waterfall. 
and whatnot. So yeah, I'll, I'll take some um, little video clips when I go. So I'll probably speak to you tomorrow. Thursday today and I'm having a big filming day. Didn't do any yesterday so I'm gonna make up for it today by probably filming for most of the day so it's probably gonna be quite uh, quite tiring but it's all good. I'm starting out with the bee today. I'll show you how it looks. I think I showed it you before but I'll show it you anyway. So I've got my camera set up and my iPad with my IT app and then I've got little bee drawing and I'm just gonna make a start on it now. I really need to tidy these up. I just accumulate like loads of pencils then don't put them back and then I can never find the colour I want so yeah definitely need to sort that out. But this is how it's looking now. Let's do a, a fun little edit after. So that is what the bee is currently looking like after doing the second part of the tutorial. This has got to be one of my favourite tutorials so far already. So on to the flower next for the third part. I'm just going to have a bit of time on my laptop now doing some bits and then I'll do some more tutorial filming this afternoon after my lunch. Hello, just had my lunch. I got everything done that needed to do and now I'm working on the next part of the cow tutorial. So yeah, hopefully I'll make some good progress on that today and then after that I think I'll probably just do a little bit of commission work and then need to go and drop my car off at the garage and need to get my brakes sorted because they're making a really weird noise and it scares me every time I brake. So yes, gonna do that. I'll show you what it looks like after it's done. There we go. So that is the next part of the cow tutorial filmed. Happy with how it's looking so far. Looks good from a distance. And yeah, those curls are quite complicated, but hopefully the technique that I'm using will help you if you're struggling with curly fur. So I've done pretty much most of the things I wanted to do today now. I'm just going to get on with a bit of commissions until I need to go and drop my car at the garage. Just having a little break outside in the sun and every time I come out the duck thinks it's getting fed because we feed them. So it always comes waddling over like, <laughs> where's my food at? So bright. I'm not complaining though. I'm just so relaxed. I feel like I might just have a sit here for half an hour. <sighs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> I didn't realise I could film in 4K on my phone. That's what I use to film these videos and I just accidentally clicked on it and thought, wow. I didn't know my camera was this good. No way. Wow. Just testing out the 4K. I can't believe how good that is. Mind is blown. Hello everyone, it's Friday today. I've just finished my lunch, so I've started filming a little bit later today, but um, I've just been doing editing all morning, so nothing too exciting to show you. I've done two videos and I've just posted the second part of the B video. And now I'm gonna do the next part of the bunny rabbit video which is a free tutorial here on youtube so if you want to have a go at coloured pencils drawing something realistic then i'll link that down below but yes i'm gonna get on with that now um 
so uh, I'll show you how it's looking. My fake tan is so bad today. I don't know what I've done, but I've like slept on my hand funny, so I've got weird creases. So that's not ideal for the tutorial. I always seem to have really dodgy fake tan when I do them, but oh well. Hopefully nobody will be looking at my hands. So I'll show you what it looks like. So this is how it's looking in natural daylight. The light doesn't flicker when I film it in natural daylight, so just thought I'd show it you over here. Yeah, hoping to get a bit more of that body done today. So let's just get started. I don't really show you this angle very much because my tripod's set up on the other side of my desk, but yeah. Just about to get on with filming this tutorial now, so I'll show you how it looks once it's finished. There we go, that is the next part of the rabbit tutorial done. I'm liking how it's looking so far, I think it looks really cute. That is the fair detailing for you. So yeah, I think this will probably already be live when this vlog is posted, but I'll link it down below anyway so that you can have a look if you're interested. So yes, that is the tutorial all filmed. I need to pack a couple of Etsy orders and I've just had a notification just before I filmed this clip saying I've got a new patron. So that's really, really exciting. I think I've got 47 patrons now, which is just absolutely crazy. Thank you to everyone that signed up, whether it's for a month to do one tutorial that you like the look of or whether you've stuck with me. And just thank you to everyone that watches these videos. I appreciate it a lot. So yes. Uh, oh god, my fake tan is so bad. Um, I'm going to pack those orders now and then I'm going to go for a walk this afternoon and get either a milkshake or an ice cream. And there's like a bit of a forest near me that has loads of bluebells in it and I want to see it before they go. So yeah, I'm going to do that this afternoon. It's now the week after, which means it's the end of the video, so I hope you've enjoyed this one. Make sure to give this video a like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one, so bye for now.